Andrea and Lamar. I knew this was going to happen. You feel like I'm pressuring you a lot to go on a mission. And I am. I was praying and asked Heavenly Father to give me the strength and the answer. And I got an answer to my prayers immediately. I decided that instead of you going on a mission by yourself, we're going to go on a family mission. That is the smartest thing Andrea has said this entire season. Yes, of course that's a solution. It's outside of the country. Yes. I don't know about that. Where are you guys going? They're going to Ghana. Ghana of all places. And even the kids know, oh, you can't take this this wild tie to Ghana because they don't play that over there. I really have they have family there. I think she's maybe half Ghanaian or has Ghanaian roots or something like that. But they definitely have family over there. If you and Lamar be all right out there, is that a and you know you can't argue in front of my relatives. Right? I'm focusing on serving the Lord and our family mission. Is Sean taking to come with us on a family trip because she's our family? You know, you, you know the kid had to add all that. Is Shantae going to come on our family trip because she's our family? I mean, you called it a family trip and Shantae is our family. So then that automatically means that she should obviously come on this trip. Like the kid, she is very smart. She knows how to word things. She's wording it that way because then it makes more sense. But oh, this is where things went bad and terribly bad. And yeah, we all knew this moment would come. There, nothing good comes out of lying. Like nothing good comes out of lying. Live your life straight so that you do not have to lie. So that you don't have to do that because one lie covers up another lie and another lie covers up another lie. And also, Lamar, if that's your kid, you've been away for 20 years, and like you said, nothing is gonna stop you from seeing your kid, then why did you let this woman stop you from seeing your kid? Because he shouldn't have let the lie go on for so long. Eventually, if you want a relationship with the kid, you're gonna have to be snooping around as if you have another chick somewhere, be snooping around to go and see the kid. Whereas you can just tell her, look, listen up here, lady. I'm gonna see my kid, that's my flesh and blood. I just met you off the street. I'm gonna see my kid that I've been neglecting for the last 20 years. How would you feel if I neglected any of our kids for the la next 20 years? How would you feel about that? That is also a kid. She did nothing to be on this planet. She's here now, I did her wrong, and now I wanna make up for it. And that's it, and she's not gonna come instead of you or instead of the kids here, but she's also my kid, and we're gonna be a nice blended family, whether you like it or yes. And that would've been the end of it, like a man. But he's there snooping and asking this eight-year-old to keep this deep dark secret which you can tell is just weighing her down that is terrible absolutely terrible and if you are lying and scheming child don't put your kid in that mess don't add your kid into it scheme and lie all by yourself or don't that's what i would prefer don't but if you're gonna do it do not involve an eight-year-old kid that is ridiculous <laughs> How does she know about Shantae? I need you to call her Uber, get all of our stuff, and go home. And I also, <laughs> speaking of lying and scheming, um, Andrea is a realtor, right? She was in Utah, and now she is in California, in LA. So she's doing that, and they literally packed up their swimming costumes and their towels and their flip-flops and their sunscreen and their glasses and all the other stuff you need when you're going to a pool or a pool party or whatever to go and swim in one of the houses that she's trying to sell yeah because she has the key right these people always have the key so that's where these people are that is not their house because remember they had to do the baptism in that bootleg uh, <laughs> uh swimming pump pumped up swimming uh pool that whole fiasco so yeah no this is somebody else's house that doesn't know that they're in there with the fam with the filming crew and everything uh just chilling in their pool this is wow wow violation this is real violation and this is a way of lying too because omitting something that somebody needs to know is a form of lying yeah. So y'all made for each other. Go talk to Lamar. Uh, just calm down. No. I 
can't calm down before I go. Lamar can kiss my ass. This is what I don't understand about Andrea. Andrea's always like, Mormon, this, God, this, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, this. Holy, 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 uh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. And yet, she's the one with the most curse words. She's the one, like, in front of her kids cursing, like, even the child's, like, can you stop saying the F word? Remember when they had that dinner or whatever outside? The kid was like, can you stop saying the F word? It's like, oh, sorry, darling, sorry, dear, sorry, whatever she said. Two seconds later, F this, F that. Like, she's not setting a good example for these kids at all. But for some reason, thank you, Jesus. For some reason, these kids have turned out A-OK, -okay, like they're proper normal. They are proper, they're so normal. And they know that their mom is a little bit, woo -hoo. So now she confronts Lamar. Lamar is um, at his cousin's place. D, D, what? What's the cousin's name? Anyway, he's over there. He's got whatever in that cup. Maybe a nice cup of tea. I don't know. The cousin is smoking, and they're just having a good old funky time on the on the steps or whatever, just chit chatting. Here comes Andrea with all her aggression. And you know, some of these people, just like with Heather, just like that um, Maria, when Michael was dealing with Maria, all these people need to realize that they're dealing with ex-inmates. It's just not just your regular schmegular person. You're dealing with ex-inmates. And then with this case, this is a black dude in America. Okay. And then she's like, and it's clear as day out there. And she's like, yeah, let me try and fight this guy. Let me try and legit, what is she about to do? Punch him? push him or whatever and everybody's like did y'all hear something out there everybody's gonna be looking and yeah if they call the cops it's it's a wrap it's a wrap because it will be he said she said and the minute they find out he's an ex inmate and he's been in, he was in jail for 20 years which would indicate that you did something preposterous like something really really crazy and out there um yeah you are going back to jail there is no bits and buts about it it that's that's what's gonna happen. So why is she stepping to him in this manner? That's the same way as Heather. She was driving all crazy. She was, she was, she was like a red flag, like sign. Hello, we're doing something illegal here. Come and catch us, police peoples. Same with Maria and Michael when they were outside that hotel and Maria wanted to get into it with Sarah somehow or the other way around. They both wanted to get into it over this Michael and things were getting a little heated and michael was in the middle of it and they were just screaming and the hotel people were about to call the cops and maria was just like i don't care and sarah was like get in the car and they're about to call the cops and you will be going back to prison like when you're dealing with these people you can't be causing a scene because they will go back to prison and they're just not in society they're not respected they're not cared about so for her to step to him like this madness and what do you do what do you resolve with all this what do you resolve with all this screaming yeah she's hurt but she should also wonder why this guy did that because you, you, you you're scary you're actually scary like who's jumping on who like this is on camera we saw you step in there like this and then they were like whoa and they have to kind of push you away because you're about to do something And it just takes that little push that he's kind of like trying to get her away not to push her but to actually get her away and that's the stuff that people will see people will have cameras and film and then it's boom that's it you're going to jail that's it yeah he's walking away that's the best thing no that's very disrespectful to, disrespectful to come to where somebody lives a whole black man to come to where he lives, nice little neighborhood, and cause a scene like this. Just all the stereotypes are in this clip. Sometimes Andrea may be a little 
jealous of his daughter because it's another woman and maybe it's a little bit of Shantae wanting her daddy when she first got out of jail. She don't want to share. It could be a little bit of both. I don't know, you know, but we're going to have to figure it out, period. We found it. We're going to have to figure it out. Wow. That is so nice of him that he's like, we have to figure it out. That is nice because he could he could make it that he's not even involved in this situation at all. This is between them. I'm going to stay out of it. But yeah, he's a good dude. He smokes, which Andrea does not agree to, but he's a good dude. Are they trying to go to jail or not? That's stupid. There's people watching. We hurry up and call the police on. And that's real. And that's real. They will hurry up and call the police. It's good that he would try to de-escalate the whole situation. Andrea's a trip. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stump and the zone to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know anything. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you had it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start a what? Living it right. God bless.